I'm going to do the shorter version with the arms that length. How luxurious is that? It's lovely, isn't it? Um, I actually bought that, um, well, I think last year sometime. Right, so one of the things we need to do is iron your pattern pieces. This is the first thing you need to do. Iron your pattern pieces. Now, this, one of the pattern pieces, it's huge. So I just trimmed down the middle and separated it. And there's one little dodgy section at the bottom that's the, the pattern pieces are quite close together just cut down there so it's more easier but you know so it's easier to handle so that's the first thing you do on a medium iron don't keep your iron on it just loosely go over then the next thing you need to do is get your short fit design pattern full length pattern out this my pattern has actually got the, the darts removed And it has got a, a bust adjustment in it, and it has got, um, I think, a sway back with, uh, adjustment in it, and a round back adjustment in it. So it's got all the adjustments that, that I need. So you get your master pattern from Surefit Designs, or if you're doing Let Alone, get a basic uh, shift dress pattern um, and use that as a master pattern for any adjustments in it. That you have i think i've already done adjustments um uh, videos i sort of muslin or patternese whichever you prefer i prefer patternese um it is like paper it's it's, it's like a stabilizer paper sta but you can sew with it and nor ordinarily when you're doing knit you would use a knit muslin to get the fit that's what you would do to get the fit with knit I'm not doing that. I'm using, still using this, um, but I am taking into account there is not going to be any drape or anything um, in this because this is uh, woven really for wovens. So we will then get your paper. Now I am going to copy the pattern, the actual, this pattern. I'm going to copy it. That's hence why it's, if you cut it out and you cut it out and you make a mistake on it, your pattern's ruined, it's cut out, party's over. If you trace it out, if you trace on top of this pattern, your size that we've discussed that you, you will need, then if you need to do any alterations to this pattern, then you can do it on, still do it on this, and it's not messed up. And then also later on, if you want to sell this pattern, it will be uncut. Even though you've cut down the centre, you haven't actually separated the pattern, pattern. You haven't cut into the pattern. So you may think, I'm never going to use those patterns again and I want to sell them and I want to buy new patterns with the money I get. So that's what we're going to do. So all markings, everything has to be put on this vellum. Right, so this is the pattern. As we said, let me try and do it where comes out a little bit like that. So this is the pattern. I'm going to be doing the C version, long sleeve, and I'm also going to be doing this length. So you need to get the right size for you. <clears throat> so you've already done a sure fit design or a Latolo master pattern. Um, and you put all your adjustments in that master pattern, like your bust adjustments, any sway back, anything like that. That's gone in the master pattern, your master pattern. So when you look on this pattern, first of all, you will be looking here at the envelope has a, a flip down. So you'll be looking, your bust, so, so I'm 40 across the top of the chest. So just look for the 40 and it says size 18. So that's the size I am going to be using. That's the closest to my master pattern. Look at the pattern. So we look for a size 18 and if we go down, it will say finished bust measurement. So it gives you one and a half inches, inches difference. Now this is going to be not negative ease, but cl quite close to negative ease because it's stretch material. And, uh, and I don't want it that tight, but I want it, um, I don't want it real negative ease, one to one. So that one, one inch difference, one and a half inch difference is going to be perfect. But you know, 
like everything else, when you actually, all different material is going to work slightly different. It may come out a little bit larger or whatever it is. This pattern may say that, but who knows until we start doing it, if that's going to be exact what it is. But it's far better to have it a little larger than it is a little smaller because because this has got like princess lines, we can just take in the lines extra. <laughs> Get out of it. Just take in the lines extra. So extra into the lines to make it work. So I'm going to be using an overlocker. But first, I am going to tack this by a long stitch, say four. And then tack this in the shoulders in the shaded part to get the proper fit. And if it's at all baggy around wherever it is, then all I have to do is, snow, stop it, I'm working. Um, lie down, darling, lie down, come on, be book, good boy. And all you have to do is take in these sides and take in, unpick the shoulders off, off again, or the arms off again, and then just take those in a little bit so you get a perfect fit. You're gonna get a, just a perfect fit with this dress. Now this can be as modern as you want it to be really. And it's it's all sorts of things that you can, if the arms are too loose, just take the arms in really. That's all you need to do is just take the arms in. And all this has got like is a t-shirt finished um, neckline. So you can do that with fold over elastic like I did on one of my other dresses. I haven't made this, I've made something very similar. and. But I tried to get this one because this is a very basic dress. I need to do a fabric test as well. You see here, we need to put our fabric... Snow, stop. Good boy. <laughs> this is what's happening. <laughs> He's... <laughs> he... Right, so we, we're going to do a fabric test. So you get your fabric. This is my beautiful crushed velvet that I'm going to be using. It's stretch. So I'm going to get your nail, put it there. Put your nail there at one side. And it's just, it's not stretched out at the moment. And you're just going to take it to the end of the dark bit. And then you're just going to stretch it to the end of the light bit. And then drop it back. It That's perfect. Now this has two-way stretch. This, So I'm going to do, do it the opposite way. Exactly, see how that was quite tight. It's brilliant that is, that went straight back into place, doesn't it? So that's all you need because you will only need this little tiny piece of stretch. So material here, not stretched at all. And then you're just stretching it, that little piece, just to check that you've got enough stretch for this dress in your material. So have a look through your stash to see what you've got. Or if you go out and you're lucky enough to be able to feel it, Check, check that stretch. I always think you can check it with well, like two fingers. If it goes past the two fingers, then. I am going to be, just for your reference, I am going to be tracing the full dress um, down to the knee on this vellum or tracing paper, whatever you've got down to the knee, the full dress, not half the dress. Uh, but when I come to do the muslin, I'm only gonna be um, tracing you know, out for the muslin. I'm not going to use the whole dress. I'm just going to cut it half off because I don't need the bottom bit because that's flary. Um, so that's going to be a fit. In. That's going to be fine anyway, regardless. So we're just trying to save some, um, you're not saving any vellum, but you are saving your patternies. And if you get lots of scraps with patternies, so long as it's a, a big scrap, sew them together and just make... Um, one big sheet again and use that then as a so pattern underneath I'm only showing you on this one you do the same for every other piece so pattern underneath put them on top and you're literally just gonna find your size mine's 18 and you are gonna trace everything out I'm doing the short version it looks quite short here but remember you've got a top half to go on this yet so this is what I've done. So this is this, uh, you, you stick them together like this. And of course it's gonna bobble here because that's a curve. 
okay and we're going to come out here but the principle is still the same that's the the first of the front half so it's just a half remember i'm using it as an example short of design so this is also a first half and i know there's not much alterations in in doing this now my pattern has not got seam allowances in it so i have to make adjustments for that is where your pattern probably you put your seam allowances in it. I don't normally put seam allowances in it because I change this seam allowance. Sometimes I might take it down or, or bring it up. So as a master pattern, pattern for me, I, I don't. But all of these patterns have got seam allowance in it. In it, so it has to be a like for like. My master that waistline's tighter for me. On this, I need a bigger waistline because that's more or less the same here. Well, I know I need uh, to put seam allowances on this. So I know that this is going to be tight on that, on that waistline. Actually, this in, in, in is actually not a bad fit in, in that sense. <clears throat> when, I, when I do um, this pattern, I know that I am going to put seam allowances on it. So I, although the seam allowances in this pattern, I have to put extra seam allowances in it. Now I did a little mock-up of, just to prove the point, if you like, I did a mock-up of this as it was and sewed it up. And this is my sewing up bit of this. And um, <laughs> yes, you have to put the arms in to get the fit. I am having long arms. It is easy, obviously, if you've got little short arms. Um, short arms you're going to put in. but So that arm creates part of that fit that goes down. So it's a ragnall, really. That's why it's so long to go up there. I had to, because I'm shallow at the top of my chest, I did have to make an alteration by, I put markers there. It had to, it, I had to bring it in. So I have sewn it there. So I actually took in about an inch and a half on either side for me at the top. That's why you need to do a muslin because you're doing a different shape. And Hi, uh, just a quick talk about um, the nap on. Uh, this is the collar. Let me put this down. I have changed the collar to a cowl collar. The, I wanted this type of collar. Now there's all sorts of cowl's collar. You can have it where it's part of the material. So it just is a light scoop. This is quite a big, heavy scoop. And I wasn't quite sure if I'd get the look because um, I want it more like, like a scarf sort of thing. Um, and actually it worked out really well. It's, it's, it's really lovely. But you can get all sorts of um, cowls, so you can get just a little one. This has got quite um, a lot of material in it folded over. It comes up quite high. You can sort of like do that if you want to go out. In the winter's night, the pub. I'm not going to have it like that. I'm going to have it like this because <laughs> I can. Um, but basically, I wanted really to talk to you about the fabric. Now, you would think, being crushed velvet, that it um, it wouldn't make any difference which way you had it on the on the on the um, cut it out. Which way you cut it out, it does. It makes a lot of difference. You still have to cut it out the same as if you're using ordinary fabric, uh, velvet fabric that's got the nap. And when you, you brush it one way, you can actually see the shading. Now, on this dress, I wanted some shading. Um, I wanted shading in the panels, down the side, either side. So to get that shading, I just reversed the pattern round. Um, but you have to remember what you do if you do that, because there's a front panel and there's a back panel need to be cut one way. And then the two side panels on either side both need to be flipped round on the material that goes the other way. So when you actually put the dress together, although from a distance, it's uh, when the shading goes, 
it'll go down so it'll be darker slightly darker down the sides either side now you can do this obviously with ordinary fabric because you don't have to do it with the velvet you can do it with ordinary fabric if you were doing it with all say you had um you were making something in gray maybe you'd put black down the side and you, you'd use um the gray on the front you can do it shade it like that i've done it loads of times shading and uh, it's quite good it makes it thinner on the sides so it's up to you, all, all one thing or not. Normally I, I've, I would have made this in ITY knit or something like that, but obviously it's Christmas, so I want velvet. And now I haven't got my Christmas makeup on. I've just got my, you know, normal day-to-day -day makeup on. So that's what it is. You, can, you can't tell. You think, you put it down, you think, oh, it won't make any difference at all. It, it will. It, you'll mess it up. So if you want it all one shade going all the way through, Make sure that you cut every piece exactly the same. They all use your arrows that it all goes one way. Because if you don't, you'll cut that piece out and you might have five pieces all go one way and one will go the other way. And that will show. It really will show. Um, so, you know, make sure that you do it like that, unless you do it on purpose like me, which you get your shading. I'm going to show you the uh, dress itself. Now, this is the short version. And quite a nice dress but now the arms have come up they are actually have come up short like this which i which i love it's like three quarters it's uh, not quite three it, it's great with the jewelry and i love the length of the, these the way the arms have turned out now i have i have cover stitched these arms and the hem so it's all been cover stitched and i've overlocked the whole thing basically but um you would stretch needle, ballpoint needle on your sewing machine. That is a must. You can't do it without a ballpoint needle if you're knitting, uh, if you're sewing knits. Um, very simple to make. This is very simple to make. You sew your seams, your arms. I did. I, the only thing I altered on, on this, to be honest, was the neckline. I dropped the neckline very low. Um, well, it's down here because I knew I was going to put a cowl on. And uh, the arms I actually took in, uh, I took them in on the pattern and I took them in again because I've got quite skinny arms here until you get to about here. Um, so I had to do it twice. But Krish Velvet is, is great because, you know, even if you, sometimes you iron some velvet and it goes a bit shiny, um, you don't want that, obviously. You'd use a cloth. But if you, the iron was too hot or you didn't use a cloth, it may go shiny and you don't want that. So I always use well, the handkerchief, a man's handkerchief or anything, piece of cotton over the top. Nothing fancy for me. Just put something over the top and then iron it. Next dress I would make in this, I would make it longer. I would make it to the calf length because I think this would be stunning calf length. But this is more practical um, going out and about all over the place. But um or sitting around the house sometimes i get too hot having too much material on me um so that's good so give me a thumbs up um subscribe to our channel and uh, i hope to see you on the next video and let's have some fun bye take care